Well, new this morning, science of a sort of a different kind going on at St. Luke's this morning. Yeah, doctors and researchers hope this will help solve one of Kansas City Museum's biggest mysteries. 41 Action News reporter Richard Sharp is at St. Luke's, where hopefully we're going to learn a little more about the mummies shrouded in mystery, you could say. Richard? Yeah, exactly. Shrouded in mystery. And I want to show you that mummy right here. It's on the, the CAT scan machine or the CT machine here. They just finished with this uh, scan of this mummy. They still have one more to do. I'm joined by Dr. Randall Thompson. Doctor, uh, you took a look at this. How unusual, how rare is this? Well, this is a remarkable mummy. It's from the highlands of Peru. Uh, either uh, an Inca or some of my collaborators say it could be a Tiwanaku a mummy, which is a pre-Inca uh, culture. Dates back to 500, uh, 500 A.D. So. You've seen the scan. Are you able to tell anything from it? I mean, what's your first take? Well, it's going to take a lot of study. Uh, in, in that little package, there's a, a full adult human being. The bones are in, uh, intact and in good shape. Hard to believe a whole uh, human is in that. It is. It's, um, uh, it's, but it's tightly, tightly packed. Lot, obviously, we can see the bones, but there's some soft tissue and, and other stuff? Uh, there is some soft tissue. We, uh, with a little bit of study, we'll be able to tell if it's male or a female and about how old uh, this individual was at the time of death. I'm guessing as a young adult from the preliminary review, though. How much fun is it to be a part of this? Oh, this is terrific. This is, this is such a great treasure we have here in Kansas City. It's a remarkable mummy. Now we can learn something about it. Uh, this, these mummies from Kansas City, uh, the Union Station mummies, we don't know very much about. And, and they're that, the, only, the only two mummies like that because they're, I'm going to say, from Kansas City, but they've been in Kansas City for the better part of 50 years or so. Actually, longer since the 1920s. They've not been on display since the 1950s. So it's great that we can learn something about them. Great that we can, that Union Station is displaying them and that we can uh, uh, enjoy these treasures. Still a lot more to learn about these. They still have one mummy to scan, and we hopefully learn more information. Dr. Thompson is part of a much bigger organization that, that, uh, with scientists all over the world that will take a look at this and hopefully find out more information about these two mummies. Live at St. Luke's, I'm Richard Sharp, 41 Action News. So fascinating, Richard. Thank you. It really is. We were there when the mummy exhibit opened, and they were talking about that, and they were so excited to figure out what this was going to tell us. Chance to learn some more. Absolutely right.